All right, so I've got another cool unboxing today. Um, this is one of the new limited edition Gretsch 5420 TGs in Cadillac Green. At least it's supposed to be. Haven't opened the box yet, which is right here. So let's open her up, see what she looks like. All right, so she's out of the box. All right, so the first thing I'm noticing is the beautifully finished fret ends on this guitar. These are absolutely perfect. Thank you, Gretsch. Thank you, thank you, thank you. These are absolutely perfect. Uh, the color is very nice, very nice. Really like this Cadillac green. Uh, nice, beautiful, dark rosewood fretboard. Uh, everything looks nice and straight. Good alignment over the pole pieces on the pickups. Beautiful gold hardware. Switch feels good. Knobs are okay. Okay, so this is a 5420. This is the electromatic counterpart to the uh, the Pro Series, the 6120. And until about 2013, maybe 14, this was actually a 5120. Uh, there were some upgrades made to it then or some changes and the current models of 5420 have been making this one for uh, Close to 10 years now. So this is the current issue. This has a Bixby tremolo uh, two pneumatic bridge Which is pinned uh, so that if you take the strings off, you'll know exactly where to put the bridge back for intonation uh, it Has the uh, fil black top uh, filter tron pickups it Has open gear tuners on the back of it, which I haven't used yet, but I'm sure they are fine I think this has got the uh, colored ball and strings that I think are going to coordinate with the Dario's. I think this is a Dario 11 through 59 uh, nickel plated set uh, or something very similar to it. I really like the gold pick guard. It's a really nice touch. This has got the pearly Lloyd thumb, uh, thumbnail inlays. Probably doesn't uh, come out from there. I'll try to get closer to the camera, but you can see there's actually a pearly Lloyd pattern to the thumbnails. It's not just a white inlay. A Graphtech uh, new bone nut, which is nice. 12 inch uh, radius on the fretboard, medium jumbo frets. The action is really low uh, from the factory. It's not quite in tune. Let's tune her up and see uh, see how the relief is and how the fret work is, how it plays. Okay, so it's in tune, more or less. Um, so pull the Bixby out here. Okay, so first impression, the action's really low. Uh, probably too low for me. It need to be raised up a little bit. The neck relief is good. Maybe the neck may be a touch straight, but the relief is good on this right out of the box. The tuners feel really good, really smooth tuning it up. I don't think I'd have any issues with those at all. I don't know what this uh, design is if, on the tuner here, but uh, it's attractive. It looks nice on these. The gold hardware is a nice touch. I think the older 54 or 5120s didn't have the binding on the headstock. They also used to put the Electromatic logo across the headstock. The newer model, they've, they've moved the Electromatic logo. Uh, it's in small typeface underneath the Gretsch logo on the on the pit guard uh, off of the, the uh, headstock, which is a... Nice touch, and of course binding on the on the headstock now, which looks great. Uh, this fretboard is beautiful. This is a very nice piece of rosewood. Uh, binding binding is well inlaid. I'm not seeing any any real issues with the finish. F holes look good. And binding in the F holes. I don't think the uh, the the lower series from this, the uh, streamliners. I don't think they have the uh, in the counterparts in that series don't have the binding in the F holes. But that does look very nice. <laughs> So let's uh, let's plug it in and see what it sounds like. And oh, oh, by the way, one other thing too. So anybody that's not familiar how this setup works, this is kind of a standard Gretsch setup. You've got a uh, volume control for the neck pickup, volume control for the bridge pickup, master tone control, and a master volume control, and then a three-way selector, which selects one uh, or the other or both pickups. 
and I actually like this uh, this master tone control dual volume master volume setup and I think the master volume control actually has a treble bleed circuit also on this but this likes you get some sort of mix between these pickups in the dual position which is nice so you could have uh, you could back off the neck pickup a little bit for example uh, to get a brighter tone and then you could adjust the overall volume of those two and keep the mix the same with the master volume control so it's kind of a cool way to do it I have another Gretsch behind me uh, this is a Jet this is actually from the Pro Series one of the Japanese made uh, Gretches so it's interesting to pick this up and compare it uh, this is a South Korean made Electromatic so this is the sort of the mid tier the Pro Series is the top of the line and there's a custom shop series uh, which are handmade here in the US I think it may be in the Fender factory or some, somewhere close to that but for the standard production stuff, the Japanese stuff made the Torada factory is the uh, the top of the line issue. And I can tell you that guitar is very, very well made, uh, just about flawless. And from what I'm seeing from this guitar so far, uh, the the fit and finish is, is really remarkable. The fret ends are finished beautifully on the. So let's turn it on and see what it sounds like. And keep in mind, these are brand new strings. I just pulled this out of the box, so I don't know how well the Bixby is going to stay in tune. Uh, the strings need to break in a little bit, and it also adds some, uh, some kind of lubrication, some graphite from a pen or from one of the products. I've been using the Music Nomad product. Uh, it's like a Teflon impregnated uh, grease, like a Vaseline consistency product. Uh, I'd put some of that in the nut slots and also back here uh, on the bridge saddles uh, to help a little bit with tuning stability. So but we'll see how the big C does out of the, out of the box. So let's turn it on. Okay, so that's everything wide open with both pickups. I'm going to turn it up just a little bit. Good. So this is the bridge pickup. This is the neck pickup by itself. delay. Okay, so keep in mind again, got new strings on it, but let's see, uh, let's see how it holds uh, tune with the big speed. Are we still in tune? Pretty close. I can hear it pinging a little bit, so it's, it's it's getting caught in the nut. So we can we can definitely lubricate that. I think the tuning stability is going to be fine. So yeah, out of the box, this uh, is set up great. It really is. It needs a little bit of tweaking. I mean, guitars are always going to. Um, but out of the box, this plays plays great. Uh, the fit and finish looks great on it. So this has got the cool uh, screw off strap locks. So you put your strap in here. Uh, you can screw actually screw this little piece off. Put the strap in and screw this back on. I don't know how well these work. I've never used them. The uh, Pro Series that I have is actually one of the Player Edition Pro Series Gretches. Gre Gretch have sort of bifurcated all their uh, Pro Series stuff now into the uh, vintage 
line and a player's line. The vintage line is a little bit more vintage correct in the appointments. The player line has some modern updates that uh, they feel like modern players might enjoy. One of the things that's on the player edition that mine has, though, is uh, uh, Shaler strap locks. Those are stock from the factory. So uh, be interesting to give these a try. They look nice. They definitely look very classic on the guitar. So, yeah, so uh, final thoughts. Uh, I really uh, like the color a lot. Um, it, uh, it, it looks great with the uh, gold hardware and the thumbnail inlays. Uh, the frets seem to be finished very nicely. Not noticing any uh, uh, fret issues anywhere. The frets seem level up and down the fretboard. I have to play it a little bit more and try all the frets and make sure, but uh, that seems good. Uh, nut slot. Nut slots cut, cut good. I don't see any issues there. I like the tuners. No problem with these open gear tuners. They look great. Uh, they seem to, to work just fine. It's got a Bigsby tremolo. Uh, who doesn't like a Bigsby? It looks great on here. Uh, it, it does what it's advertised to do. Uh, I, I'm familiar with the Gretsch knob setup. It's the same as what I've got on, on this Gretsch. And uh, I really do like that a lot. It's a nice change on the typical Gibson style system with two volumes and two tone controls. Uh, the master volume is a very useful thing, I think, uh, once you get used to having it. The Filtertron pickups, I think they're going to sound nice. i have to put them through the paces a little bit more. Uh, most people uh, seem to enjoy these pickups uh, from what I've watched in other videos and read online. This looks like some version of a tunematic bridge. I know on the uh, Pro Series that's behind me, I think all the hardware on there is, is Goto hardware made in Japan. Uh, I'm not sure what this is. I doubt this is Goto hardware. It looks similar to the bridge that's on the Pro Series. Um, who knows? So the bridge has got a nice uh, rosewood uh, uh, piece that actually holds the tunematic to the body. And that, that looks really good on here. So I don't, I don't see anything out of the box to complain about with this guitar. This is a very impressive instrument right out of the box. One other thing too, and I, I wish I had, I had a 6120 here to compare this to. One of the differences with the 6120 is it's actually a three ply maple top. These are five ply. So this is going to be a little bit stiffer top. I don't think it'd be as resonant as a 6120. Uh, it, I think it would, and I have read that they maybe resist feedback a little bit better because the top's not vibrating around as much. So if you're playing these at volume, uh, especially if you put any gain on them, these are probably going to resist that a little bit better. Some of the other Gretches, there's a there's a model. My brother just got a model that's uh, the 5427, which is a, a newer model. And that one actually, this is like a sound post brace, full hollow body. The 5427, I think, is trestle brace, but it's a really cool guitar, too. It looks just like the 5420. His actually has gold hardware. It has the uh, tombstone inlays, which I think looks great. It's a color called Midnight uh, Sapphire, I think. It's a dark blue. It almost looks black under certain lights. Uh, very pretty guitar. And hopefully get that. I'm going to get that and set it up and put some flat wound strings on it for him, I think. Um, and maybe do a short video on that just to compare that to this one would be kind of interesting because I think all the other hardware is the same although the 5427 may have a newer uh, filter tron a newer design filter tron pickup uh, the weight the weight is good on this it's light it's not not neck heavy it balances great in my lap just to I mean if I let it go it will pull down but just a little bit of uh, just a little bit of pressure right here on my forearm it's holding this in great position uh, people talk about these feeling more like an acoustic guitar. I guess they do. It definitely doesn't feel like a big Martin Dreadnought. Uh, it's not that big. It's somewhere in between. If you're used to playing maybe a thin line acoustic, it feels more like, like that, especially with the cutaway. The binding looks great on these. It's got a got like a pinstripe on the binding on the, on the body part. It's just a solid white or cream color, aged cream binding on the neck. Uh, the aged cream binding looks, looks really good on here against this green. The, uh, they, they offer Cadillac green in a bunch of the models. Uh, it's not cur a current offering in the 5420. This is a limited edition. I think Guitar Center and Musician's Friend have this one right now. It is on the Gretsch website. I don't think there are any other differences except for the color in this and the uh, the regular issue 5420s that are available. And there's some other good colors too. The uh, standard Gretsch orange looks great. I think they offer it in a Fairlane blue. And maybe, is there a candy apple red for that or am I thinking of another one of the Gretsches? But they all look great. I don't think there, I don't, there's not really a wrong choice with those. So yeah, thanks for checking the video out. It's a very cool guitar. Uh, anybody looking for a, uh, this style guitar, uh, if, if they get an example as good as the one I've picked up here, just for my impression out of the box, I think they're going to be happy with it. Uh, it is it's, It seems to be a very well-made guitar, my initial impression. So yeah, thanks for watching and uh, see you next time.